Welcome back and to shed more light on this meeting, I'm delighted to have over the phone Mr. Ahmed Khattab, the economic expert. Good afternoon, Mr. Ahmed. Good afternoon to all of you. First of all, uh, of course, you have followed that President Abdel Fattah Sisi has received uh, the President and CEO of the World Economic Forum, Borg Brandy, and also his accompanying delegation. In the presence of Prime Minister Mustafa Madbouli, Minister of Planning, Economic Development, International Cooperation, and also Minister of Foreign Affairs and Minister of Investment in Foreign uh, Trade. How do you see the importance of this meeting? And please tell me uh, your main takeaways about it. First of all, let me give a special brief about the World Economic Forum to, yes. our, uh, to our Egyptian citizens. Yes. The World Economic Forum is an international organization for public-private cooperation. It provides a global, uh, virtual, and non-for-profit uh, and non -for platform for manufacturing con uh, connection between stakeholders to establish trust and build initiatives for cooperation and the progress. Mm -hmm. In a world that's marked by complex challenges, the World Economic Forum engaged political, business, academic, civil society, and other leaders of society to shape a global, regional, and uh, industry agenda established in 1971 as non-profit uh, foundation. It is an independent uh, foundation and do not tie to any uh, special interest upholding the highest standards of governance and moral and intelligence and intellectual integrity. As the head of the submission of the World Economic Forum, improving the state of the world at large and the belief in the power for human integrity, entrepreneurship, innovation, and cooperation, and we recognize the need for um, for uh, positive and uh, respectful dialogue between among the leaders with the different beliefs and the viewpoints where the, the diversity of thought is respected and all voices can be heard. Achieving the mission of the World Economic Forum is made to, uh, possible by all of our stakeholders who come together to find common uh, ground and size opportunities for positive challenge. Uh, the Economic Forum uh, Committee also on facilitating the progress and systematic challenge is taken forward through its 10 uh, centers uh, it's applying the institution unique combination of the impact methods to drive uh, holistic effort, the central third commitment to benefits are also essential to addressing large-scale global challenge guided by the <coughs> community. Today, our Bishop TST attends a meeting with the President of World Economic Forum in order to discuss the progress in the Egyptian economy. Yes. And if we go back to 2008, Egypt uh, organizing World Economic Forum in Sharm el and already we have a good reputation in organizing such international Economic Forum. Yes. As International Economic Forum will discuss a lot of issues related to the future of progress of the Egyptian economy. Mm -hmm. Especially, we have a strategic uh, location uh, in Middle East and also nearest to the DCP area. And uh, I think of this city, our uh, Prime Minister, Dr. Mustafa uh, will, uh, will discuss a lot of issues related to settlement of uh, Israel, Gaza, and Lebanon war in order to go back to uh, a, a very good uh, position of uh, growing growth, which will be reached, um, reached to 5% by the end of 2025, and also in order to reach to uh, increase a rate of uh, 15% by the end of 2025. And I think a lot of uh, panel will discuss the future of Middle East, <coughs> especially nowadays, and after Trump's uh, election, he promised he will stop the war in Middle East. Once the war in the Middle East is stopped and the economy will be more stable and, the, and a lot of achievements in the field of economic reform take place and the growth rate uh, will increase until 5% and our surplus in Central Bank also will increase. A lot of amendment agreements between the Egypt and the World Economic Forum Committee will take place in order to, uh, to launch a lot of mega projects, especially in liquid gas and especially in green economy. The World Economic Forum will discuss with a lot of businessmen the yes. future of growing growth in the Middle East, especially in Egypt and also in Africa. And we try to support each other in order to overcome any gap between the governments. Uh, I think this CCI uh, will play a very effective role in the coming World Economic Forum 
and I hope we have a lot of achievements done and a lot of recommendations to the Egyptian economy and also from the World Bank. Uh, Egypt takes the right direction in economic reform and Egypt is ready uh, in order to accept more foreign direct investment. And I think also Minister uh, Rania Makshar will discuss a lot of uh, issues related to the process in of economic reform in Egypt. And we uh, try to achieve and attract a lot of foreign direct investment from all over the world. What is the current forum? This is international community and uh, a lot of leaders from all over the world will participate in the panel and this means yes. more progress in the digital economy. Yes, uh, thank you so much Mr. Ahmad Khattab, the economic expert. Thank you for being with me and thank you for your valuable insights.